Google released a guidebook called Prompt Engineering, and it's been taking the internet by storm. The amazing Christian Soloff, co-leader of the Spring AI project, put together a blog called Prompt Engineering Techniques with Spring AI. This blog post demonstrates practical implementations of prompt engineering techniques using Spring AI. This uh, is just a little bit of background on the basics of prompt engineering. When you work with the chat options, you often have the ability to specify things like temperature. The temperature controls the randomness or creativity of the response. Things like max tokens, the which limits how many tokens you want to generate in the response. Things like sampling controls, top K versus top P. You can use Spring AI to get structured output. Zero-shot prompting involves using an AI to perform a task without providing any examples. One-shot and few-shot prompting. Few-shot prompting in involves providing the model with one or more examples to help guide its responses, particularly useful for tasks requiring specific output formats. System, contextual, and role prompting. System prompting sets the overall context and purpose for the language model, defining the big picture. Role prompting instructs the model to adopt a specific persona or role, which affects how it generates content. Contextual prompting provides additional background information to the model by passing context parameters. Here's the user prompt, but there's some context. These are in addition to the regular user prompt, which with which you're probably no doubt familiar. Step back prompting. Here, you're asking the model to break complex requests into simpler steps by first acquiring background knowledge. This technique encourages the model to first step back from the immediate question to consider the broader context. Here's the first high-level concepts you know, established, and then finally, write a one-paragraph storyline. Chain of thought. Chain of thought prompting encourages the model to reason step-by-step step through a problem. The key here is to say, let's think step-by-step. Step. So when I was three years old, my partner was three times my age. Now I'm 20 years old. How old is my partner? This is a, a thing where models often get this wrong if you do a single shot. But if you force it to explicitly enumerate its logic and to sort of think out loud, it'll usually get better results. Chain of thought is especially valuable for mathematical problems, logical reasoning tasks, and any question requiring multi-step reasoning. Self-consistency involves running the model multiple times and aggregating results for more reliable answers, kind of like an average of all the responses. And then we get Tree of Thoughts is an advanced reasoning framework that extends chain of thought by exploring multiple reasoning paths simultaneously. Automatic prompt engineering. Automatic prompt engineering uses the AI to generate and evaluate alternative prompts. Code prompting. Code prompting refers to specialized techniques for code-related tasks. Then we get to the conclusion. So a very good look at some of the incredibly interesting ways you can change your prompt and uh, get better results. And remember, this is just text. This is the almighty string concatenation operator being sent to an AI a model via usually a REST endpoint or something like that. So don't be scared. Dive right in. Start your journey with Spring AI at start.spring.io.